Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Minecraft Legends. In today's episode, we are exploring more of the overworld to take on more of those evil piglins. We also are going to improve some stuff, build improvements by gathering iron in the zone near the improvement hubs at the well. Fate is our current goal. So to do that, I guess we need to gather iron. Oh, like this. Okay, so this is sort of another material to sort of collect. Your relationship with the LA's grows. This tune will help them mine iron for your building needs. Gotcha. And there you have it. Now you'll be able to collect iron in the world and spawn these new friends whenever you need them. That's great. All right then, so our new um, resource is discovered. We gotta gather some iron. iron. You can use it to build all sorts of new structures. Okay, so let's the see exactly what we can build. Something. I know it. The piglins have their eyes on that last village you saved. They're going to need you again. Okay, so where exactly is that gonna be? The village that we saved previously way over here, the Piglin Outpost, has something waiting for us. So I guess we have to go over there. So let's make a marker on that. And I guess fast travel. Oh, I never went to this one, so I can't fast travel to it. Whoops. But we'll go to this one really quickly. And get started with our little adventure here. This is gonna be great. We learned a lot last episode, but there's still plenty more to figure out, I'm sure. But uh, here we are at the Fate Lands. We had to go over this way to start things off. So I think we'll just go over to that outpost, destroy this new type of Piglin Outpost. Gotcha. So we'll get started with that, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of other things to focus on too, but I do wanna see, obviously I don't have the maximum amount of uh, stone and wood at the moment, so if I could keep looking out for those, that'd be amazing. But I think we're just going to head over here. Oh, is this it? No, okay. <laughs> I saw something glowing and it was a little red, so you, you never know, right? But, uh, oh wait, we just ran into something, bounce caps. I do need to read through this. I think that will take a little bit of a deeper look into the journal next, or later this episode maybe. We'll just have to sort of read through it and see what new things we've been discovering and now what it really is about all of them. The banner, let's try a few more advanced moves. It can give specific commands to specific allies if you need just one type or even just one friend to get the job done. Give it a Ooh. try now. In the heat of battle, you'll need to be ready for anything. Banner view. Destroy all structures in this piglin outpost. Control hold to enter banner view. Whoa, okay, this is nice. Uh, so we can hold the direct our nearby mobs to charge, which I don't have any at the moment, so if they could just give me a moment to, you know, let me build the spawners, that'd be great. So, of course, we got these um, cobblestone and plank ones. We got the new ones here, the grindstone golem and the mossy golem. I don't know if we'll even have all the right materials to build those, but we might as well give it a try. Something We're gonna recall everybody here. we do have. The piglin's threat is changing, but to what end is not yet clear to me. Okay, so we have all 20 of them right here. So we're gonna try to call everybody over and go back into this mode. Uh, so this can get pretty crazy, but we can send some out this way, and I guess focus on that target over there. So that's how we send either like a bunch or a single mob. Huh. But I guess I didn't really send all of them, did I? Oh, but they can't go across the lava. Okay, everybody, uh, come over here if you don't mind, because I didn't realize I was sending them across the lava like that. We do need to build a ramp. So I think for right now, if I could just... Oh no, I guess I have one over here. So yeah, if everybody could just come over. I made a huge mistake there by trying to tell them to go across the lava, but it's okay, we'll learn from it. I'm not always the best at strategy games, but I'm willing to try my best with them, <laughs> regardless of the outcome. So, yeah, we'll just go over here, and I think we'll just send them to go straight forward this time. And this is just a huge fight. There are enemies everywhere. They all want to take place in this battle. Jeez, this is actually pretty crazy right now. We might have to go for one of those uh, towers instead soon enough, but right now I'm just swinging at this as much as we can. I think soon enough we'll have to uh, maybe even just recall everyone. Oh, there's a couple of guys down here. So for you guys, oh, they're crying, <laughs> poor things. Let's send them against this without anything else. Oh, it's a cage that we can open. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's open this up. What is this? Oh, it's a bunch of turtles. Definitely want to save them. Okay, so with that, I'm heading back up here. Uh, we've definitely lost a lot of troops, but if we could just send them at this tower, I think that's the next best idea. Wait, 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 why are they just... Uh, I'm trying to send them right at the tower itself, but it doesn't always work that way. Anyways, I think it might be a good time to retreat really fast and spawn in some more friends, because this is a little too much. Improve LA storage to carry more resources. I would love to do that, but maybe later. Anyways, um, yeah, the iron's good to know, but I wanted to read more about our new golem friends. We have the grindstone golem, which... Uh, 
Let's see, charging disruptors, fast charging disruptors that stun enemies, very effective against ranged mobs. And then Mossy Golem Spawner, spawns Mossy Golems, support mobs that clear debuffs and heal allied mobs. So, so we want a decent chunk of those, but not too many. So let's recall everything that we have here. There we go. So I guess that means we should probably spawn in three of those, a few more of these, and then the rest should be building destroyers so that we can just get rid of this thing nice and quick. There we go. So everybody should be all together now. Let's charge right back in the battle for round two. So this game can get pretty complicated, it seems, but I think if we just keep working on it, we'll get through it. So um, I think, yeah, let's, there we go. That might be a better way to do it then. I'll definitely have to get used to the controls a little bit. It's gonna take some time, but uh, there we go. Let's see if that does what it's supposed to and everybody can just beat up this thing. I mean, so far they're not really attacking it too much, which is weird. Okay, now they're going about it a little bit crazier. But it's really these towers. But after a few moments of it, they sort of forget and they just chase after me. So maybe I just need to not move too far. Which you would think with a game like this, that wouldn't matter too much. But let's get over here. Help out with this as much as we can. There's a lot of guys over this way. We are losing some troops, we're down two of them, but we have plenty more, so it's fine. But I can just keep working on this tower. I think that's a good idea. I'll fight away. Oh no, don't land in the lava. Okay, come on, keep fighting this tower. It's almost broken, and I think that will help out a lot. It's just getting rid of this thing. It's getting all crumbled up. Yeah, our one golem, the mossy one, will heal, right? So that's always good. I think we gotta get rid of the, uh, the tower. To get all these guys to start punching it like crazy. Any of the piglins that show up, I can fight them myself a little bit. All right, everybody over here, keep it going. We're almost through this tower. Come on, come on, we got it. So, just a little bit more then with this over here. So we will charge this. Mask us and everybody over too. Well, I gotta get rid of you. Cool. And, oh no, it's really sending us back a bit, but there is still more after this. As you can see in the distance, there's another tower and everything, so it definitely takes some work to get through all this. I wonder if there'll be a way to upgrade our mobs later on. That'd be nice. If we could just make these building bashers a little bit stronger, I'd be pretty happy with that. Anyways, we have a pretty decent group over here. I need to let these turtles free. And then afterwards, we are just going to Focus all in on this tower. And that's definitely working. They're mostly firing their arrows at me, so I think that's a good thing, really. It means that we're not gonna lose any of our mobs here. Okay. We're taking damage and need help. Okay, so do you need to be careful about that? But uh so it says I can press escape to do something there, but it didn't really do anything. Anyways, there we go, that's another outpost destroyed. Whoa. These guys aren't happy about it. Oh no. A lot of new piglins here. Ooh, this one looks like they can maybe be a sorcerer or something. These are all really cool character designs though. I guess we're trying to figure out what to do next now that we're sort of thwarting their plans a little bit. Whoa. That's a big block. No, that doesn't look good. So they're bringing this big cube to somewhere. One of these outputs, yeah, like that. Whoa. Is that gonna act like a giant turret? Oh man, it's a beacon. I think things went just from bad to worse, really. Oh no. The sky's going dark. Oh, the creepers are gonna explode. <laughs> They're shivering. First they poison the ground, and now the sky. Our hero must see us through the darkness. 
So this is looking like a dark chapter in this story. You have to find the source of this magic. Find it and stop it. The Night Beacon. Find the Piglin Beast creating this permanent night. With night comes, you know, more powerful mobs, right? This could be pretty dangerous. We'll have to be very, very careful as we move through our next steps. But hey, we got more guys over here that never followed me. Uh, let's take a second though. I think now might be a good time to take a good look at some different things here, just in our journal that we really haven't read about. So of course we have some of the things we already know about, like the Plank Golem spawner. Um, spawns Plank Golems, range mobs that shoot rapidly at close range, interact with the structure to spawn them. Each mob requires a following resource. So you can see each one is gonna require a different resource. Like with the pink Plank Golems spawner, it's wood, lapis, and flame of creation. Um, but for Cobblestone Golem, you know, these guys do high damage to structures, they need stone. And then for grindstone, it's iron. And then same thing for mossy golem, it's another iron. So just keeping that stuff in mind is pretty important. And we can uh, customize our hotbar if we wanted to, but I think these all seem fine. But for some of our other stuff here, we have like, you know, resources like wood. Gather wood from the chosen area. Wood is essential for many structures. Make sure to keep your ally storage filled with filled with wood to hold more wood. Build one or more improvement ally storage at the well fate. See, like I didn't know that part, so we're learning a little bit here. And same thing. Stone is essential for many structures. Uh, and then iron unlocks advanced structures and can be used to spawn grindstone golems and mossy golems. Iron deposits can be found in the fate lands, forest, and dry savanna. So if we're having a hard time finding things, this journal will be really helpful for sort of figuring out what else to do. And then we also have uh, some of this stuff. So improvement gather iron enables gather allies to collect iron. Each additional improvement allows you to carry 150 iron. So we definitely want that. I don't really know how to build that. I don't think we can build that here. So yeah, let's take a look at our map really quickly. There's this huge night beacon over there. But before we get to that, I think we do need to gather some more iron. We're only down to like six of them so far. So I think just managing our resources wherever we can would be pretty important. So yeah, let's go to gather iron. And isn't it one of these? Huh. Maybe that one's already sort of used that. Doesn't seem like it's working anymore. Yeah, we have this one over here. Maybe because this one is already, maybe if I remove this one? Let's remove that one and see if I can't put it here. Nope, still not working. I don't know why. Hopefully we can find some new iron soon because no, obviously we could just use some. But in the meantime, I will put over some, just some wooden stuff. Yeah, I can only really gather the iron around here, was it? Because right now it's, it's all just, it doesn't really show. Iron unlock, cannot find icon, cap reaches, reached on resources. Okay, I'm a little confused, but you know what we could do is try building one of these, right? Oh, I see. Maybe I was building the wrong thing? I don't know. Maybe I was. <laughs> Hard to tell. But um, I'll just build another one of these and see if this gives us more iron. And that's just the little thing that I'm still trying to figure out with the game. But you know, we'll figure them out over time. It still doesn't let me gather them that way, but it is what it is. Um, I could build another one of those over here, I think. Do I have the materials to do that? Not enough resources. Okay. Then I guess we'll go over here. And then we'll make our way to that night peak and see if we can't help out with that at all. Please, you have to hurry. The LA's can build you a well house to offer a safe place to regroup. And for you to travel from right back into battle. I suggest building these close to where the action is. They'll save you a lot of time. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Build a well house. Um, well houses act as respawn points if you die. You can also fast travel to them. Sounds good. So let me get some extra little friends here. And then... Where exactly do I want to build the well house? This is the well house, and I could put it, whoa. Somewhere. It is huge. Maybe way out here? I don't understand exactly. Can't place well house too close to villages. So, oh, I see. So I should probably get closer to the night beacon and build it there. That way, if we do end up dying, we can just sort of come back from that and it'll be a lot easier. But in the meantime, I do want to get some resources. I'm trying to find out if there's anywhere I can 
build one of these, but so far I'm not really finding any resources. Okay, well... Yeah, we're coming up on it, so this might be a good place to build it. Right here. Can't place wall houses too close to villages. Are we really that close to a village? Because it doesn't seem like it to me, but uh, maybe I'm wrong? Huh. See, I figured if it wasn't in this little blue area, I'd be in the clear. Yeah, I don't know why it's being so picky with me. Am I missing something else too that's just not telling me? I do not know. Okay, so if I went out a little bit farther, it seems like it's letting me build it. <laughs> not the most convenient spot. I figured it would just sort of go over the trees. It did it. that's okay. There's much to learn with this game, I'm noticing, but that well house is being built. It's about 45% of the way there already, so maybe we can take the opportunity to head out here, try to fight this thing. I do think it might be nicer to build some ramps and stuff. If I could just get it started. Why does that not work? I seem to send it out really far, like that. That didn't work either. Uh, <laughs> why didn't that one work? Huh, maybe I can't build it over water. Can definitely build it over here though, right? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's just see what this portal has to say, whoa. So the piglins are definitely getting prepared with their night beacon. Even more reinforcements are coming out. The dark sky is fueling the piglins' aggression. What can we do? <laughs> Whoa. Who shot that? Look. It's the mobs. The skeletons are coming in. And the creepers. <laughs> this is so awesome. And even the villager zombies. Oh, you guys are in trouble now. What's happening? How did they learn to fight? By watching our hero. That is awesome. So the piglins are running back into their fortress. That sure shows them. This base is beyond anything we have seen, but we know you can triumph together. Whoa. So there's gotta be a way over there. Maybe that's a bit better than this because so far the water's making it a bit more difficult. Night Beacon, destroy the nether portal, um, lead these mighty mobs to push back the piglins. Okay, I think I might be coming at it from the, a wrong angle or something because I really can't reach it from over here. So let's just try to run around it a little bit, but our friends are over here. There's gotta be a way to build this for them in a way that they can get across. Right? Maybe can I claw them over like I can the other mobs? So we've got the villagers, the zombie villagers, the skeletons, the creepers. And we can call them all over, perfect. So yeah, I see an entrance over there. So I don't know why my mobs aren't also coming, but I can I can deal with that later. As long as we're getting all these guys over here, we'll start figuring something out. <laughs> They're just sort of all chilling out over there. Sort of a problem, but it's okay. Come on, come on, go, go, go. And then once we're over here, I'm going to want to make some of the spawner things. So. Right now, that should be enough. I don't really need, I don't have any more iron, but I can recall what I have. There we go. Everybody come over, and we're just going to charge in as much as we can for now, I think. Here we go. Oh man, it's gonna be a huge fight. Look at all the piglins over here. This is crazy. So I can definitely slice my way through a huge crowd of them, but we have a bunch of things to destroy here. It is going to be pretty wild. If we send everybody to focus in on stuff like this, though, I think we can destroy it pretty quick, right? Keep it up. Oh wow, we already breached the wall with that, amazing. So I don't know if we're supposed to destroy everything. It doesn't seem like it'd be the best idea, but you never know. Uh oh, here comes one of the, the boards. It is very easy to start losing people. Like, I don't exactly know. Yeah, I can if call everybody over, right? Not stopped, oh, no. night will last forever. This is wild. I'm losing a bit of health though, so I gotta be really careful here. Because I think for right now, like what we're really supposed to do is get everybody over as much as possible and then just rush the uh, the nether portal, right? I think that's more so what we're supposed to do instead of destroying every single thing here. But whoa! Okay, that's a big guy. Um, I'm a little scared, but come on, we can do it, we can do it. 
I'm about to die. Oh no! So maybe that won't quite work that way. Maybe we have to destroy more of the towers and stuff. Can't just charge in like crazy. But there's a lot going on there. Oh man. Okay, so we're heading back into all this. I definitely want to just focus different targets. It looks like what was broken before is still broken now. So that's good to know. Yeah, there we, are, there we go, we just broke another one. So maybe I can just gather up all my friends here. Again, just go for it. Whoa, 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 how did I get back here? Uh, Okay, I'm getting burned up now. That's not what I wanted. I'm a little confused, but we're just gonna get everybody we can. What is going on? Uh, I don't know, but we're losing a lot of our troops because of that. So I might have to go back and try again. Um, but once again, if we could just send everybody over here. We lost so many of our friends there that I might have to run back really quickly and just make some more reinforcements. What do you guys do? I, I don't know why. It seems like no matter how hard I try to get everybody to come together, some of them just sort of lag behind and don't follow. And I don't know what to do to make that better. It doesn't seem like the controls work exactly the way I want them to so far. I just have to sort of figure out how to work the way they're supposed to. Got a creeper over here that we can call over. Because you can see even then, maybe there's a maximum of how many people I can control. Because they're in my circle, I call them over, and they just don't really follow. Very weird, very weird. But uh, I got a good majority of them. I think that might be good enough to march over here and start really working on this stuff over here. This big boar, this big monster, whatever it's supposed to be, is a bit of a crazy thing to deal with. But maybe we could succeed here. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. Oh man, definitely destroy that thing, yeah. But this guy is not friendly. Let's also charge it. I don't know, focus. I don't really know the difference between focus target and charging in this situation. But, oh man, the more stuff we destroy, even if we lose health, you know? The more stuff we destroy, the more progress we're making. I might have to back up a little bit just to play it safe, but in general, we're getting there. Oh no. Ooh. Maybe that I'm adjusting down a little bit, but most of us are focusing on this huge guy. I need to back it up again. While they're still fighting, let's go get some more friends. I really haven't found any iron anywhere though, and that's been something I've been trying to just find more of. So that we can, here, let's spawn in a lot of these guys. Because they'll help us fight from a distance. And then we'll recall everybody so that they're following us. There we go. I got as many of them following me as I can muster. Let's get back in there. This thing is still kicking, which definitely makes me a bit worried, but maybe we could all just focus it down super quick. That'd be way better. But I am stuck in the corner now, so I'm a little afraid. I gotta just dodge its attacks a little bit, fight off the other piglins too. Cause this guy is just not playing around. Oh no, ooh, I'm really low on health. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, go this way. No, come on, let me through, let me through, let me through. No, come on, is it not going to let me? I guess not, I guess it doesn't work that way. Man, this is crazy, cause they are just destroying all of our units super duper easily. And that's why we need some of the other guys, but I just don't have any more iron, and I couldn't really see an opportunity to get some more. Uh. But I think it's fine. I think we just keep going back and, oh, they pushed me into the lava. That was so not fair. Oh my goodness. Uh, and we spawn in whatever we can. Okay, let's get this a little bit, bring us all the way up to 10. And same thing over here. It really takes a while to get my health back if I don't have those little guys that you know, help with that. I think in the meantime, we should also be getting whatever wood we can. I don't know if there's any stone around here to mine, but I guess there is. And like I said, there's no iron around here, it seems. So, with what I have, which is all of you guys, we're heading right back in. But we've made very little progress, as you can see, this is around 99%, like, we just haven't done too much, so, we need to get in one way or another. I guess just follow this way. It is still there, too, so. Let's just focus a tower. If we can get rid of one of the towers, that should be a lot less you know, damage to worry about. But man, the attacks come in from every angle. We got it though. Okay, let's focus on this one then. Everybody, oh yeah, destroy this too. I didn't realize we could destroy that. So everybody over here, 
let's go over this way. Just like that, perfect. There's a lot going on. At some points it's a little bit too much, but we'll keep going. Working on both this tower and this gate. So, doesn't seem like much for now, but if we can just get, you know, a bigger army out this way, I think it's a big deal. You know, we are once again losing more troops. I wish I could bring the stuff a little bit closer, but it didn't really let me. It usually doesn't let you build it on the red flooring. And this is <laughs> really proven to be tough. Okay. Let's just focus on this then so that we can destroy it. Because it's almost there, and that will lead our, us to be able to get our troops in a little bit easier, which I feel like is pretty important at this point. Oh no. Okay, this is looking bad for me. I need to run. I need to run all the way over here. Because yeah, I can't spawn it on the space it's occupied. So really, we have it set up on the closest space we can manage, really. I think more mobs are just showing up too, so let's recall everybody. We'll spawn in some more. These guys, keep, we ran out of all of our mobs there. So we'll do 10 of each. I guess 11 of that one and nine of this one. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay though. And then get some more stone wherever I can get it. So everybody called over here, right? Oh wait, wait. Need all you guys too, come on. Every single unit matters. Now we rush back in there. I don't think the spike walls are quite yet destroyed, but they're very, very close to it. So if we just charge and focus on this, we can get it no problem. Come on, come on, there it goes. Okay, everybody, we need you to charge into this tower. There are so many piglins everywhere though, it's crazy. Oh man, but that tower is getting destroyed in no time. Very exciting to say the least, but wow, we're getting knocked back all over the place. So I don't know how many units we really have left, but maybe we should really push forward with them. Okay, everybody, I want you to focus on this right here and see if we can do anything with it. We might not be able to, we might just lose all of our units, but I mean, we're slowly starting to do some damage to it, so you never know. It's still at 99%, 98, there we go. Huge success, right? I think it really only works if we can spawn in some more friends. So let's go do that. There we go. Luckily, we we're able to help clear out piglins pretty quick. Maybe there'll be ways to improve our own sword and stuff later on. I'd be really happy if that's the case. But right now, I just need to run back over here and uh, spawn 10 of each again. Okay. And then over here, same deal. And then we'll also just recall everybody. I don't know if that recalls any of the other kinds of mobs. It doesn't look like it does. So there's just like, you know, random mobs spawning in. Okay, we're heading back over. You know, we're doing everything we can do. I really need to get rid of you. So if everybody can just attack you, you do a lot of damage, but there's gotta be a way to get rid of you, right? I really hope we don't defeat them and then just another one shows up. Okay, I'm trying to avoid their attacks however I can. But man, they just don't seem to ever give up. And as you can see, they've already destroyed most of our mobs. It's just so ridiculous. Come on, come on. Yeah, I don't really see too much more we can do here besides sort of rinse and repeating where we just run over, spawn more stuff in. I feel like I'm definitely doing something wrong, but I, I don't see what the alternative could be. Okay, so I'm working on some stuff over here now. I think really the best idea is just to break down as much of their spawners, as much as their everything as possible. The problem is while we're doing that, just so much is attacking us. It can be really hard to keep up. And it just, by the time I got over here, half my army's already gone. So I don't really know if we're really doing the right thing, but I mean, if it's one less building, that feels pretty good, right? I think I'm just gonna keep fighting. Even if we die, we, you know, we come back. So it's not really that big of a deal building is almost down. I really want it destroyed. So hopefully we can get it before we die. I don't know if we will, because all of my friends are defeated, so it's just me now. Ah, uh, oh, there I go. But when I die, it seems like I come back with a bunch of the mobs, which would be really good right now. So we'll have to see if that's any better. So the last time I, die, I died, it, it spawned in a bunch more of the the mobs and stuff, but this time not really, so I'm sort of in this bad position where so many of them are getting spawned in. But not really the case for us at all. Like, we, we can't really 
keep up with us. By the time we get over here, we're already losing some of our stuff. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the side over this way too and get rid of some of those spawners. There's so much to do here, it's crazy. So maybe while that's happening, while we're sending things in over there, I just need to run back and just continually spawn more and more and more in because I'm, if not, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> okay, so I see you guys over here. I'm just going to uh, spawn in more. Whatever we're sort of losing, I'll bring back and then more of these guys. And luckily we have plenty of this material. I just wish we could have found more iron. Um, and I looked for it all along the way, but I just really couldn't find anything. So it's really hard to reach out to what I want to get to from here, but I definitely want to, first thing is get rid of that tower. I thought that we would have gotten that one. Maybe we were, I think we were attacking a different one actually. So let's go for that. Let's get rid of another spawner here. And this one we're sort of hidden behind the wall, so the rest of the piglins can't actually get to us too easily. They're just trying to run straight over, and that's not gonna work out too well for them. So things like that are good. So maybe, you know, getting rid of some of the stuff on the side, maybe this is gonna be better for us. There we go. We're gonna focus on this target straight away to switch over. All right. Got it. Just keep it going over here. This thing is almost busted. And when everybody works together, you know, some of these actually get destroyed pretty quickly. It's great. So, same thing over here. Oh no, definitely go to the boards. Because they do a lot. And that's where I really hope we can maybe improve our sword or something. Because if so, it would make it just easier to get through everything. But some of them have found their way around and are beating up our other golems. We do not want that. Let's try to get everybody over here and just keep charging. This thing is almost broken. But they are starting to charge in farther and farther. So what happens if I just charge like that? Will they be able to destroy this wall? They won't. So we need to sort of run back and then go in again. Because if not, it's just sort of more of a mess like this. So this is a lot of piglins though. Wow, okay. Sort of just slicing them as I go along. Which even that isn't exactly enough. You would think that this is enough to at least run up here and do a bit more damage. So I'm gonna do exactly just that. While all those guys are busy, let's run all the way back over here and get some more friends in. And it's getting lower now. Now that we've lowered the defenses a little bit, it's harder for them to fight it off. So I think we just spawn in some more. Come on, come on. We still got a bit more to do here, but we're making some breakthroughs. Okay, so calling all these guys over. Even some of the other mobs are available now, so that's good. And they're still out there, still destroying it. We're down to 70% now. So let's just charge forward with all this. Come on, come on. And I gotta help out too. There's so many piglins up here now. This portal is so cool. I wish I could just jump through. That'd probably be a really bad idea, <laughs> considering. Okay, we're down to 50%. Here we go. We just really had to rush it, I guess, but it just One didn't really seem like it was gonna work. Okay, so running out of a lot of friends here, but if I can just keep fighting them away as our golems keep punching, I think we'll be fine. Come on, down to 20%. Just keep punching, keep pushing, we got this. I really hope, come on. We are running more and more out of these guys. Almost down. Keep fighting, break their magic. I'm not giving up just yet, we're down to 6%. Oh, it's so close. I might have to go and restock though. Yeah, we're out, we're out, darn. Okay, so let's run back before we get knocked out. Because we are so, so close to getting this done. I mean, maybe the mobs that are there can finish a job, but just in case they can't, we need to go and get some more. Run, run, run. Oh, Moso, I can't believe that. That was so close. So, I think we mostly just want these guys. But we definitely want some of the, uh, the wood golems too. All right, almost there. And hopefully we can get an upgrade on how many golems we can control at once at some point. That'd be fun. Got all you guys coming over. We're down to 2%. So if I just push this all the way over, you guys know what to do. This is for sure the final push. Come on, go, go, go. What was that thing? Whoa, that's a new enemy too. There's so much going on here, but just gonna keep destroying the portal. We're almost there, there it is. Oh man, that was a lot of work. Everybody is rushing in. That is so cool. Oh, and the beacon is destroyed. They're not gonna be happy about that one. Whoa, 
Whoa. And with that, it should return to the daytime at some point. The morning finally comes. Nothing like a nice little sunrise, right? Aw, everyone's so happy. Well, everyone except for the piglins. They're running away. I think this one's trying to explain what happened. Which of course is that they all banded together to knock us out, but, or to knock them out. <laughs> but, oh no. Oh, that's us. Oh, they don't like us one bit. It's a new world out there. In more ways than we know. All right, well, hopefully we can have a lot of fun exploring this new world. You brought back the sun. This first dawn warms the hearts and faces of the overworld. We can't thank you enough. It is true, we have won the battle. But I'm afraid the war has just begun. Destroying that dark magic has brought all the hordes of the Nether to the overworld and emboldened their hunger for conquest. You must destroy all of their portals to save the overworld. You are our only hope. Oh no. So if we're the only hope, then it's gonna take a lot of work, isn't it? Piglin invasion strategies are something. Resources off the battlefield. Use them to improve your tools before you set off. Okay, so it keeps telling me I can press escape to see something, but then it just brings me back to this menu. I don't know. Either way, you can see that there's, whoa, so much more now. So I think yeah, we're mostly focused on these there big things here. There is a new piglin base in the world. Their hunger spreads like a sickness. Oh, now that you have a moment, I've added a melody to your songbook so you can rouse some of our slumbering old friends out in the world. Huh? So yeah, I think things like the Brilliant Beetle and the f First of Oak, interesting. Hmm, and the Creeper Homestead. I'm so sure these the are really cool. I'm excited to see you. Hopefully not too excited, mind you. And then there's things like, of course, the Horde of the, the Hunt. The new piglin stain spreads in our world. And the Horde of the Spore. Interesting. So there's different areas we can explore and sort of clear out the piglin invasions. Definitely something we'll work on then. In the meantime, though, I think what we need to do, we have one of these set up over here, right? This is one of the um, Gather Iron improvements. That's right here. I guess I can maybe set up some more. And while that's happening, gathering redstone. Let's try to gather coal, because I do sometimes run across not enough resources. What do I, what resources do I need? Sometimes it doesn't really show that anywhere. Okay, so if I wanted to gather coal, I would need 100 stone, 100. Oh, I don't have the prismarine. Gotcha. So like, these things are out here now. Right, the gather iron. Did I need more than one of them? <laughs> That's the part I'm just not really getting. And I can't put this out because this isn't the actual resource. It's just my ability to get it. And I'm just very confused because I've run around now and I just, I don't feel like I found any iron resources. So we'll have to really look for it, but that's where I definitely wanted to sort of take a deeper look at some of the inner mechanics of the game when we get the chance. But, you know, we can see we also got um, improvement cure netherrack enables gather allies to convert netherrack to a safe block that you can build structures on. That would be really nice. Um, and we just don't have the 100 that we need right now to get that. So defeating enemies is really important, I guess, for the Prismarine. And then improvement, Wake the Firsts. Enables you to assemble powerful golems found throughout the world for a gold and resource cost. So we definitely need more Prismarine. Uh, so iron unlocks advanced structures that can be used to spawn grindstone golems and mossy golems. The first upgrade grants 25 iron and enables village chests located in forest and dry savanna or ally chest in any biome to contain iron. So I guess we can maybe go back to some of those other ones and see if we can't find 
any chest that might have some iron for us, but so far finding it in a while doesn't seem super common. So I just might wanna take a quick peek. And beyond that, uh, oh, here we go, here we go. So open this chest up and we have um, 473 stone, 61 lapis, and 25 iron. Perfect. So let's go to some other villages really quickly. I think that it showed us on the map what resources they build up. So we'll double check that soon enough. But in the meantime, yeah, run over here, open this chest. What do we get? Um, you've hit the re resource for this. So what was that one? I guess coal and lapis, but it's not gonna give us coal just yet because we don't have that thing upgraded. But this one will give us iron, but I never activated the quick travel for that. So you know what, that's the last thing we'll sort of focus on in today's episode, is getting the quick travel for that one village. Because I was supposed to get that before, and I just forgot, so that would be right over that way. But yeah, this game is so cool so far. It seems like there's so much more to explore and to figure out, but we're getting there for sure. And hopefully the more that we play, the more that we'll figure it out. So in the meantime, if I could, just, uh, oh yeah, I have the cap on wooden stone right now. So if I can just occasionally look around to see if there's any iron to grab, that'd probably be a good idea. But as it currently stands, I really haven't seen any, which maybe I've just missed it, totally possible, but maybe it just doesn't work that way as well. I've definitely seen other things like coal laying around and the redstone here. And whenever we see any of these mobs, we probably wanna call them over to us. Oh, I can get the turtles to help too? I didn't realize that, okay. That could have been helpful before. I think the, the little mushrooms help me jump higher. What about like little, little guys? Oh, I thought I saw somebody. I thought it was like, just try this ocelot over here. It sort of works, yeah. And then this is where I could use that new Alay thing if I can get the upgrade to turn this stuff back to normal. That'd be cool. Probably want to remove this one. Do I get the resources back? I don't know. Hard to say. But we gotta keep moving, we're almost at this village. Got quite the little army following us now. So I guess it'll be good during the night times to sort of scoop up as many mobs as possible. Here we are at the dry savanna. So if we finally made it, village discovered, you can now fast travel to this village by selecting it on your map. You can travel as often as you like, as long as the village fountain continues to flow. Cool. So let's open up this one. And inside, we get villager chest rewards, 25 more iron. So yeah, some really good stuff there. Happy to see it. If we take a look at our other things going on. Is there anything new here? We have things like masonry. Permanently turns nearby wall, towers, and gates into stone. Interesting. So if we really wanted to build up the defense of a village, which I'm sure we'll do eventually, but maybe not too much to worry about right now. Um, so back out of this. Is there anything new around here? Not really, but uh, there is, of course, the actual journal, and this has maybe more in-depth things. Uh, iron is a bit rarer than stone. Tell me about it. But shouldn't it be difficult to find? I mean, so far it is, but I, maybe I'm just not good at looking. Uh, it used to be by the alleys to build structures like the protector tower and the masonry, and the masonry as well as some allies. And then we have things like lapis, it feeds the flames of creation, allowing you to spawn golems and mobs. It is obtained from roaming piglins and may also be stocked in village chests. Lapis is the main reason why you should give every piglin you see a good thwacking. Not that you need more reasons. And then finally, the prismarine. Prismarine can only be obtained from destroying piglin structures and is used to build and upgrade structures at the well of fate. So, can only be attained from destroying pickle structures. So if we want to get more prismarine, we got to go and do those things. So that's definitely something I want to work on. I think then, yeah, okay. So we'll be focusing on that next episode for sure. There's a lot to do, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I'm excited to see, you know, sort of what's next for us in the game and like what kind of things we might end up taking on. But I will uh, remove that pin. It doesn't really tell me when- This village is at peace for now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins hungry eyes. This village is at peace for now. Yep, okay, <laughs> just gonna repeat that. But it doesn't really tell eyes. me when the chests are available again, so we'll have to just check back every once in a while. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Legends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.